Speed yeah. In. Hold up, hold up. Get right with you. I'ma get right with you. Bad bitches, fuck up, then dismiss them. Bad. I ain't really here to take no pictures. Yo, what's up guys, back with another video, and today I'm going to show you guys how to maximize all your time on the EA Play in the NHL 21 by doing challenges and sets that will grant you a lot of good things to start off your HUD team. So first off, this is pretty much the easiest thing to do. Uh, what you're going to want to do is there's an objective that you need to complete by going to the exchange tab and just pressing the big rectangle button on PS4. I'm not sure what it is on Xbox, but on PS4 it's a big rectangle button. You press that, then you're going to complete this tip set, and then you're going to get an objective completed. You should get a um, objective completed into your objectives, which uh, I think it's here, right? Yeah, here, um, as I'll show you guys right here the hot sets yeah so you get a set tips collectible and what you do with that is if you go over to your sets now if you go over to your tip sets you're gonna see you put that in here and then you'll be able to complete all of these uh just from doing what the little thing i did before um so it's very easy and then you get a player's pack at the end of it with a bunch of gold players from all of these um and possibly some good players from that set so that's a very easy tool just to start off your hot team and now we'll get into the challenges Alright, so next up is the challenges of the EA Play, so you're going to go on to these first ones, as you can see I've already done all of them, um, and what you're just going to want to do all of them really, you get coins from it too, and it's 2 minute periods, it kind of sucks, but it's it's it might take a while, but it's worth it, trust me, you get a 2 gold players back, which is not too bad either, um, but you get 6 of those collectibles, and what you do with those collectibles, if you go over to your sets once again, you'll be able to put them in for a decent little pack. Um, and it did give me it got me like 20. I think I got like a uh, Patrick Flynn from that You got a premium players pack, which is I think like 280 pluses um, So at this stage of the game for free basically you get a lot of good things Or if you want you can turn in instead of giving six for one You can get three packs a base pack premium pack or a general premium players pack um, Actually, no not that but these two um, which I think this is better But anyway, you do what you guys want more packs here, but this one is obviously the better pack all right. Next up, if you want to start off your team on the good uh, on the good start with your 10 hours, um, if you do your uh, EA, uh, well your HUD squad battles, which ends in five days, that's when the packs are going to be out. Uh, you can see the rewards are really good, and it's very easy since nobody's playing. It's very very easy to uh, get a lot of points and get these packs. Like the, right here, what I'm at, I already get two 22k packs plus a green pack, which I have no idea what it is, and 12k. And to start off the game, that's very very good. Um, so if like if you guys can get the elite one at least, where you get six packs and 17k, that's honestly amazing to start off your team, um, and it, it'll help you in the long run for sure. Give you a little that little boost you need. Also, try to stay away from hot rush as you're not gonna the rewards are not very good and it it might take like two minutes, but it's still not very uh, essential and useful right now in the game. As you only have 10 hours of playing, you want to use uh, as much time as you can to actually improve your team right now. Also, when you're doing your set like this, try not to put any gold players, like I'll show you guys right here. Try not to put gold players um, that are in the NHL like these, as you can use them in the team building sets, which like I showed in my previous video, can get you an 85 overall player and a decent pack. One day they might be extinct, so that might be good for the market, and you might be able to sell that for a lot, or just put them in the set when it's actually extinct. Anyway, I hope you guys will take these tools uh, to improve your team, like my team right here. It's a it's a decent little team. I did spend a bit of money, um, and I did get about 50k, uh, which is not that much. I wasn't quite lucky, but most of these players are untradeable, um, and so, while well, some of the packs I did get were tradable, um, but most of this team is from uh, the things I talked about, hut challenges, the sets, um, and if you if you're lucky, you can get a very good player. Um, and my team's nothing great really. Um, so yeah, just try to use uh, all these tools to your advantage, especially the the squad battle ones. That'll help you immensely, um, and that'll make your team much better next week uh, when it ends, and then your awards come on Tuesday, which would be fabulous, or Wednesday, Thursday. I'm not quite sure, but you're gonna get very good rewards if you grind that a bit. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments what you think and what have you been packed in NHL 21, and subscribe if you're new around here. I'd really appreciate it. Anyway, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace!